You better watch out now. I figured something out. What this whole life's about, yeah. It's not the goal, it's the journey. Wasted emotion is worry. I'll stop being in a hurry. Well, here we have another proof of reality. Can you explain how the Nile River, 4,000 miles long, which is created by rivers that flow from out of Lake Victoria all the way to the Mediterranean Sea, 4,000 miles, and we do not see one iota of curvature in this elevation profile of the Nile River? How is that possible? 4,000 miles. How is it possible for the Nile River to flow from the south to the north up the ball of the earth? <laughs> up is away from the center and down is towards the center. How is that remotely possible? Where is the curvature of the earth? 4,000 miles? I don't think so. They got to tell the truth and hope you don't realize it. But I'm here to help you face reality. I believe the horizontal line is confusing you. The horizontal just relates to the mean sea level. The mean sea level isn't going up or down towards or away from the centre, so represented as no change, hence the straight line on the diagram. Same as if you were to have a baseline for entropy, then entropy never went lower than a set mark. You could represent that as a horizontal line to represent the minimum value of entropy. It doesn't mean that entropy is a horizontal line, it's just how we can represent things in diagrams and in graphs. You see, the Earth is not flat, it's a sphere. REALITY! Higher elevation means further away from the surface of the Earth, and therefore further away from the centre of the Earth. Gravity creates a natural flow. REALITY! GRAVITY! Higher elevation to lower elevation, while following the curvature of the Earth. REALITY!